All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Now today I'm going to be doing, <clears throat> well, this is probably one of my most requested videos over the past couple years. Um, so to set the video up uh, about two years ago, well, long story short, I'm going blind. <clears throat> now if you want to um, watch the original video I made about two years ago on the subject, I will provide a link one of the rare one of the rare times I provide a link I will provide a link to that video in the description below that'll give you an idea of um, the disease I have in fact I'll provide uh, two links one of the links is about my, my me going blind the other video is about the disease that I have in my eyes that is making me go blind and how I got it how you can prevent yourself from getting it so two very important videos. That's why I will provide links to those videos, which I don't provide links to any of my videos. Usually I just say, go to your YouTube search bar, type in my last name, the word blindness, and those videos will magically appear. <clears throat> now you can still do that and those videos will magically appear. I will provide the links though. That way we don't have to rehash all of that material. Long story short, I have a disease in my eyes that's causing me to go blind. You can look at those other videos if you want the details on that. Um, I made those two videos a couple years ago. <clears throat> People were very concerned. I thank everybody for all the well wishes. I appreciated it. Um, as you can see in those two videos that I made, I was pretty upset about the, the um, inevitable fate of my um, sight. And... Um, so I wanted to give you an update of what's happened in the last two years in regards to my slow degenerative eye disease and where we stand, because a lot of you have been asking. So here's the deal. Um, I get um, the disease that I have is called retinal vein occlusion. It's in the eyes. It's basically I have strokes in my eyeballs, just causes havoc in the eyeballs. Once the strokes happen, whatever damage the stroke causes is irreversible. Um, there is a medicine, however, that you can take that um, slows the swelling and the liquid buildup in your eyes. That's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. I won't get it there. I've got those other videos you can link to if you want more details on that. But anyway, this medicine gets injected into both eyeballs with a needle every two months. It used to be every month, but we've backed off to every two months now, which is part of what I'm going to talk about. Um, this medicine, there's no promise that will solve anything. There's, there's no promise that will even slow the swelling down. It's just, it, but the thing is, is it works off and on for me, and it's worked well enough to keep at least the sight in my right eye still okay it's not great it's i mean my left eye legally blind I, I can't see all out of that i mean it's blurry i mean i could close this eye and look around and i can i could maybe tell what would be going on on a tv screen maybe if i really concentrated but it would be difficult like if i was watching a football game i'd be relying more on the narrators of the game rather than the visual of the game if just if i was just using my left eye my right eye is doing 99.9% .9 of my seeing, and it's doing okay. The medicine is doing okay in that right eye. But I will say we get scans every two months of how my eyes are doing, and my left eye just keeps getting worse, 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 worse. My right eye, every some months it's good, some months it's bad, some months it's good, some months it's bad. It's just sort of maintaining at the moment. The reason I wanted to do this video is because over the last week and a half or so, I, I, I've had some struggles with my eyes. Um, it would noticeably getting worse, uh, the pain getting worse, uh, the pain when I do certain things getting worse. And I want to talk about that because that, that's a little bit of my future. Um, in 
in my previous videos, I talked about how the problems with my eyes had stopped me from doing artwork and a lot of my illustrations and the stuff I was doing for Magic the Gathering and stuff. I was stopped that. Um, and you can watch it again. I'll link to the video where you can watch all that. Um, but then I talked about how is it going to affect my reading and my writing. It affects my reading in that. Well, it affects both similarly. It's I can't really look at a computer screen or even a television for very long. Like if I watch a three-hour football game or something on a television, I'm I'm struggling towards the end. Um, the, the best, and that goes the same with looking at a computer screen, typing in. And there's certain little uh, filters I got on the screen and stuff to like dim it and things like that, which makes it better. Um, so my writing, in a sense, has slowed down somewhat. Not, I mean, yeah, yeah I'll just say that it slowed down somewhat. So even though I'm still writing. It's going slower because I don't spend as much time in front of the screen as I'd like before I turn it off and just, I have to do something else the rest of the day. So, you know, instead of writing, instead of being able to write five, six, seven hours a day, now maybe I'm writing maybe two, four, five at the most. If and that's probably pushing it. Um, what's crazy is the crazy thing is, um, reading a book, reading paper books, like reading just out of a book actually for some reason relaxes my entire body, including my eyeballs. So reading, reading isn't a problem. I mean, I'll never use an e-reader. Sometimes I do use uh, audible books. I, I, I listen to a lot of books, but for the most part, just sitting down and reading the book, a book out of a printed page is very soothing for my eyes. Um, so, my reading hasn't slowed down at all. If anything, my reading has picked up in pace because I'm doing less writing and more reading. Um, so that's kind of the update. Uh, not totally blind yet. I'm still just crossing my fingers and hoping that day never comes. I got, I don't know, I mean, I'm middle-aged. I think I might have, if I'm lucky, another 40 years left. I don't want to be getting those. I don't know. There's no other choice, but I don't want to be... Th th those, the inje the needle injections in the eye, th those are no fucking joke, people. Those hurt like a mother. They are painful. Um, some some people can get needles in their eye and they don't even care. Um, but I mean, they gotta strap me down to a gurney and have my head in one of those NASCAR Hans devices so it can't even move, and then clamp my eyes open. And then the needle, I mean, oh my God, it is a fucking horror show every two months. And I, 40 more years of that, 30 more years of that, I guess I got to. I mean, just, I, but that's one of the reasons I made this video is because I went yesterday and had the needles in my eye and it made me think of, of, you know, the videos I made previously and how many people wanted an update. And I was like, well, I better make an update. Um, so that's the update. I mean, it is what it is. I mean... I just feel lucky that I can still see out of one eye. I feel lucky that that's the only medical problem I have when there's worse ones in the world. And, um, you know, cause everybody's going through something. And so I can't be like, woes me. I got to look at the positive. The positive is I can still write. Um, if I pushed myself, I probably still could do some artwork, but I've decided to just shelve that for the rest of my life, concentrate on the writing and Reading is actually the most therapeutic thing that I've got going for the problem, which is great because I love, that's my main passion in life at this point. Um, so that's the update. Um, and I hope you do click on those other links and, and watch my other two videos about what the details are of my disease. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next uh, tomorrow on the next video.